The, the doom of Pandesia has come to the city. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. I will be glad to rest. At the academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. Why am I so cold? The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. What have they done to me? My father had golden hair. My mother hair like ash. This city is built on the bones of the great ones. When the last of the hyphen is gone, darkness will fall. The abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the great sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets. Can you hear them too? Crying out in the dark. The thinkers of the city. They devised new ways to detain the elements. Not so long ago, Dunwall was a proud city. Is it the month of the harvest? Time has lost all meaning. How can it be that I know such things? Listen, I can hear their every thought. I am not alive, nor have I received the gift of death. I can feel the great age ending. They are burning whales. The doom of Pandesia has come to the sea. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. The canal's got enough shit in it as it is. This whole place has gone to the hounds. Oh, nasty. Little filth. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Stupid Please guy. clear the area when a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business. Be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. I'm only out because I was helping an older acquaintance get home. Stupid rats. Plague. Lixer. Bunch of crap. Some strangers gave us directions and fed us earlier. People are good at their center. If only she had a coin for every time she stubbed her toe. There is nothing in common about the work she does every day. Now the littlest one is sick. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. But the fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, The Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium, and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Oh, fuck! Disgusting! Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. <coughs> It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan 
of their services. <clears throat> Sorry I can't help you. Some folks needed the food I had and I gave it away. Can you believe it? The City Watch actually protected me from some of that Bottle Street gang. <laughs> it rained hard yesterday. Nice. Felt like it was washing some of the bad away. He used to admire the overseers. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local it dead count. Unreported the deaths are a punishable offense. Evil. That work was the best he could do, and still they weren't satisfied. Attention Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our Honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. With regret that I have... All the others, down to the sickness. I think my wife and I will be able to ride this thing out. The plague has to pass eventually. All these rats crawling all over everything. You look like somebody important, or dangerous. I've got no beef with you. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Some men can still find work along the waterfront. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area. When a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business, be advised. That such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen.
Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Yes, and I begged to marry her. In her mind's eye, she is fancy trimmed in velvet. Granny, granny, Fresh granny, young. come out with me. On her way, way to an evening Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Careful. She, she treads, treads with purpose. And, and is not as frail as she seems. I think the little birdies are sad today. The, the children, children sometimes circle Granny Rags. Following along and taunting. She granny, is giving granny, so granny, to the granny, come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you Long ago, Granny, granny Rags danced to court. Men begged to marry her. Yes, I would, indeed. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think the little birdies are sad today. I think the little birdies are sad today. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She did some trash for a bit. Let's get it. I'm dry as an overseer's prick. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rules. They've always gone on the left. You never listen.
I would indeed. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I told you the knives go on. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. the block dead from the plague better them than us at least some of them had money Sick ones go into cages and off to the flooded districts. A couple of them didn't look too sick. Can't take chances. If they even look a little green around the gills, it's off they go.
keep skulking around. I don't stupid cat. I have to keep this oh, He says to bring a bottle oh, of water. He says to bring food. I gotta bring stop food. chewing hammer weed. He says to Nothing here. Lost it again. <clears throat> you should be. Smell you from here. Bug someone else. Having to deal with those uppity overseer bastards. Are you crazy? They can hear anything you say. I don't give a rat's ass. I really don't. They took my uncle's business over there. Seven strictures bullshit. Don't be stupid. I've been watching how they operate. They're disciplined. City Watch owns these streets. That's not gonna change. Buy your ration of elixir from today. Blow off. Share your food with me tonight? Another night. 
Another patrol with you. Huh? Trying to make a pass up. Let me out. I'm fine. <laughs> That's not what we heard. It was just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets. And let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trapped. Let me out. <laughs> Anyone there? Let me out. I'm trapped. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Prison for five years, then it changed his name to Griff. No one suspects. In troubled times, fortune often favors those such as he. Griff offers as close to a fair deal as one can find in the eyes. Yes, he knows who you are, but he will pretend he does not. An honest man? No. But his heart is not as black as some. He was in prison for five years, then changed his into a griff. No one suspects.
Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander's zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. 
The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Ayer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. He misses the days he spent at the casino. He wears the uniform of the City Watch. I will be glad to rest. Unless he dies tonight, he will kill twice more before ending his own life. He has already spilled much blood today. He seems fine now, but soon the symptoms will start to show. Stupid goddamn. Miserable work, but still thoroughly to prison. Oh, this one has kept a lot of hair from everyone he's ever killed. <laughs> if there were work on the ships, there would be fewer men volunteering for the city watch. That is just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Licks me. Bunch of crap. Yeah, it dies. seen him open the safe downstairs? No. Don't ask me things like that. It doesn't lead anywhere good. It never hurts to at least think about it. What if he gets the plague himself and starts to bleed from the eyes? He's finished. Off to the flooded district if that happens. Please don't say that and put the safe out of your mind.
you want to gamble on the hounds again. You always amuse me. I'd prefer to keep the children inside. I told her. Better make a pass over here. <laughs> Thank you. 
phantom with an army of shadows in front of him. That guy Dowd? Ain't he just a boss? Like Slackjaw? No, no, no. Th this is one odd bird. Consorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charms and such. You sound afraid. Damn right I am. Dowd ain't no ordinary man. Touched by the outsider he is, given dark powers. He can slit your throat across the room. Well, that'd give him a leg up for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. Anything to smoke or eat? Blow off, Chopper. You don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Not fast enough. Bastard. The fuck are you looking at? Huh. Shut up.
So he goes, not to the Abbey or the office of the High Overseer, but one of the other places, where they train the Overseers to be real religious. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's gone. He sneaks in. You know Eddie. Brilliant at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job, hitting the dumbwaiter all night. Yeah, so he goes from room to room, kids sleeping, an overseer giving a lecture to the kids. Couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, a kind of plinky plonky sound. That's what spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. <laughs> That's an East Lamborghini. Okay, I got one for you. Well, give it. Okay, here goes. The nobleman laid with the scullery maid, so loudly they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butcher at night, carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done kind of both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. Um, okay, yeah, I got one. Ready? I'm listening. There once was a sailor from Morley who fancied a woman most sorely. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no Morley. <laughs> all right, you win. You win. Well, I know a hundred of these old rhymes. My mummy used to tell them at me. What the fuck are you looking at? Huh. What? Any fools settle?
settled in. Blow off, Chopper. Will never wash. Never, never, never. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the tray, so we sacked Some her. of the people who live near me claim they'll be organizing against the city watch soon. Old as a whaler's gaff hand. Fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Get his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? 
20. Plus two elixir. Look like 25 to me. Look here. It's 20. It's five each, Counting Boo. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me kid. You think you can cheat me? Somebody, get over! I'm gonna feed you to the rat! That settles that. Never mind him. Should have kept his mouth shut. Definitely somebody about. Watch huh? it. Someone wants to get hurt. Is that? On? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Let me know if you want to take my patrol. 